Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back with another iPhone video tutorial for you. Today's topic has to do with how do I free up additional space on my iPhone. Now if you watched any recent videos, we talked a little bit about how to deal with the other storage that you'll see pop up in iTunes on your phone. That deals with part of the problem, but I often find that in our usage there are ways that we can actually trim the fat and get rid of a lot of storage we're not using. One of the main things is again getting rid of message attachments, videos, photos, things that we send back and forth to our friends, those do take up space especially after months of accumulating them. The other thing that's often the main culprit is apps and app data. We talked about this in the other video as well, but I didn't go into as much detail about apps that we don't use that much. I know personally, I tend to download a lot of apps to try them out and often I will put them in a folder and forget to mess with them and they will sit there accumulating space. And sometimes it's best to delete those apps, especially because they're so easy to download again from the app store right onto your phone. And with iCloud backup saving app data, there's really not much to worry about there. Another main cause of storage concern is offline music downloads, with apps such as Apple Music and Spotify allowing you to save offline files for later usage, people are maybe accidentally saving quite a bit more physically on their device than they intend to. It's a good idea to go through periodically and remove any offline media that you might not really need on the device at any given moment. Tapping on a song's information will show you a little device icon indicating the song or album or playlist is physically located on the iPhone. It's a good idea to clear these out every once in a while to make sure you have space available so you can download the music you currently are listening to. Lastly, it's a great idea to import your photos periodically. If you're on a Mac, you can easily do this using the app Image Capture or the built-in Photos application and safely offload that media so that you can save those photos, clearing off space to take more photos and videos with your iPhone. Storage can be hard to come by, especially if you have an iPhone with a smaller storage capacity, such as a 16 gigabyte phone. So it's something to consider when you go to buy a new device whenever a new one is announced. What are you gonna use it for? If it's media related, go for the bigger size. Hopefully this was helpful. We'll talk to you soon.